Hello and thank you for tuning in to Pilot Savvy YouTube video. My name is Chris, owner of Pilot Savvy. In this video, we're going to discuss how to upgrade the NavGraph database in your X-Plane 11 simulator. The process should be the same for X-Plane 12 as well. So in this case, I have a Diamond um, DA50 RG aircraft by Arabesque. And uh, I, previ I previously installed um, NavGraph to update, keep my database current and up to date with the uh, latest uh, Jefferson uh, charts. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, um, I'll show you what happens there. So it's good for like every 30 days you have to uh, renew. It has to renew. Uh, just like in a real aircraft, uh, you get updates from uh, Jefferson for the Jeff charts and so forth. So I'm turning on my M MDF and it's going to come up with the message here. You notice that it says this here is air pack uh, 2309 and it's expired. So I'm going to try something that I did before. Normally what I would do in updating something like this is um, I would shut down I would shut down uh, X-Plane. So I'm going to try it without shutting down this time. So to get to that I'm going to go to start NavGraph Flight Management System uh, Data Manager. Go here, or you can click on the icon for Nav uh, FMS uh, Data Data Manager. When I do that, it comes up and asks for permission to make changes. I'm going to go yes, and it shows the uh, X plane that I had in here earlier. It has this. It has the 2309 revision one that we saw earlier. So. I'm gonna go going off memory here. There we go. Move this so that you can see it easier. So it shows the version that I currently have. I'm checking this box and then I'm gonna go update. And it's downloading. And it's installing. Now what I'm hoping here is that I can just go ahead and do a refresh and uh, not have to restart the simulator. I have the um, $9 a month um, euros, not nine, was that nine, uh, 905 per month euros. It gives me jump charts for the, uh, for the entire world. You get VFR and IFR charts of the whole world. Navigraph I put that on my iPhone. You can embed the uh, approach plates onto the chart. Navigraph adds, adds details. It actually shows runway numbers, taxiway lettering for moving about an unfamiliar airport. Okay, it looks like it's done. So remember, this was uh, 2309 before. Now it says uh, 2310, revision one. So make sure it's okay. So I don't see any countdown I th uh, that I saw earlier. Okay, there we go. The current air uh, air act cycle is uh, 2310. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go here. So you saw what I did there. I w walked you through the process, and it kind of updated it automatically. So I'm going to go here now, and I'm going to go. See, this still says 2309, right? I'm going to see if that refresher, I made a separate video on uh, restarting without restarting. This is the perfect thing. So I'm going to go here and do the whole art and everything. Don't know if I need the whole art. And it's restarting and when it does, it's going to come up with hopefully a different number. What I've done in the past is just shut down the flight sim, do the update that I just demoed to you, and then start the flight sim back up. I'm curious about this, if I could, if this will work. Because you see it's a lot um, quicker. Let me go and hit this. Let this uh, primary flight display come to life first so 
So I haven't done a video on installing the uh, Navigraph. Navigraph. Uh, system test. Okay. But as you can find it, you can go to the website. Just uh, you can Google it, or you just punch in a URL, uh, Navigraph.com, and it has a screen that explains it. Um, best I can tell, there's no one to talk to, but there's a really useful forum. TCAS test pass. Okay, so TCAS and all that. So now let's go to here again and I'm thinking it should theoretically refresh it enough to show the current one let's see so we're looking here okay look at that so we know just from what I just did that we let me move this over here All right, so we know that we can um, was able to leave the flight sim running, then do the update on in the uh, Windows environment, and then come back here and just do a uh, a reload. So developer, um, I did the whole thing art because I may be looking at that as art that's painted on there and that need to be painted. Don't know someone can, can leave a comment to let me know and uh, how that works out so it's the um, I just went with the uh, aircraft and art to cut through all any red tape so there you have it it's updated 5 October is when this was valid and it's valid through uh, up to uh, 2 November so just like the you know real thing so what that means if when you're talking to uh, if you decide to get something like um, Pi um, Pilot Edge it's an online uh, live controller they have live actual controllers and maybe active some may be uh, retired and uh, they want to keep controlling but they know the rules of the road in, uh, in aviation and they treat it accordingly it's not a it's not a arcade game. Uh, there are some gamers who are enthusiastic about signing on, but you don't have to be a pilot, but you kind of have to know the rules, the ideas for them to create a really a realistic environment for pilots. So that's where this, without getting too far, I may address that later. I think I'm going to do a video on how, how great they are you know, or the services they provide and how they've helped me. Yeah, it gives you current and up-to-date charts because what happens as it would in the real world if you're using outdated charts and you get a clearance to um, a fix that's not on your dated chart then that could be a problem uh, outdated charts in the real world and sim environment with um, pilot edge same same results um, pilots have had outdated charts and they're given a clearance and they don't have that fix this Navigraph makes sure that you have that fix and um, you know it's current and up-to-date according to the Jefferson charts these are realistic but and they'll tell you on their chart but do not use for air navigation you can get yourself in trouble that's all I have here and um, I want to thank you for tuning in and staying with me. Please leave a thumbs up, a comment, and if you want to be notified of up, uh, updates, then go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I release a video. Uh, this is Chris with Pilot Savvy. Thanks, and have a good day.